Welcome to Trojan TV. I'm Michaela. And I'm Gideon. If you have a 3.5 or higher grade average, then you are invited to this year's honor ceremony on Thursday, May 28th at 7 p.m. The Career Tech Center's Cool Tech Camp offers a range of programs over the summer. There is a fee of $40 and the registration deadline is May 22nd. If you have any questions, please call 231-922-6322. East is hosting an Invention Project Camp over the summer. To sign up, visit www.inventionproject.org, or for more information, see Ms. Brooke. Titans Hoop Camp is set for June 15th at Traverse City West High School for 3rd through 9th grade girls. There are two sessions, grade, grade through 3 through 6 meet from 12.30 to 2.30, and grade 7 through 9th meet from 3 to 5 p.m. on June 15th through 18th. If you are interested, pick up a form from the main office. Attention staff, paid Google Chromebook professional development explorer sessions are being offered at Central Grade School this summer, and the dates are June 23rd and 30th, July 15th and 23rd, and August 19th and 27th. For more information, talk to Brandy Reynolds. Now let's head over to Jaina with this week's Class in Spotlight. We started at the start line at the same time. Who would always be ahead? Emma. 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 And after time. In this classroom spotlight of Miss Berkshire's sixth hour, the students are discussing walking rights, tables, and graphs. So, Henry, Henry how, how much how much of that start? Forty-five meters. Forty-five meters. Why did they do that? Why did Emma propose that? I mean, it's like why? Yeah, Lily. The students are learning about slope, coefficient, and rate of change. What does that mean? Um, Say it to them. Three seconds. And where are they? Uh, Seventy-five meters. Who agrees? Is that pretty easy to see on the table? Yeah. Okay. That was this week's classroom spotlight by Jana Garvin. Eighth graders, if you are interested in trying out for the Central High School production of Footloose, you can try out on May twenty-sixth, twenty-seventh, and twenty-eighth, starting at three thirty. Materials will be available May 18th in the choir room. If there are any questions, please see Mrs. Isabel to start preparing for your audition. The 2015 Retirement Recognition Celebration is set for Thursday, May 28th from 4.30 to 6 p.m. Interested staff should RSVP by May 21st to Kelly Walter at 933-1713. The Scholastic Book Fair will take place on May 20th through 29th in the LMC. The Book Fair is offering a buy one get one free special for the fair. Sixth grade student council is having a fundraiser to help support ASPCA. There are two decorated coin containers in each wing office, one for dog, dogs and one for cats. One penny equals one point. One silver coin equals one point subtracted. If the cats get more points, Mr. Meade and Mr. Ritter will wear cat ears all day and dog ears if dogs win. All money will be donated to the Cherry Lane Humane, so Cherry Lane Humane Society. Now it's time for our Trojan TV feature of the week a new series called Did You Know? Hi, I'm Jake. And I'm Jake. And we're starting a new series called Did You Know? As you might have guessed, we'll be covering stories about our school that you may not have known about. Our first feature includes memorials around the school that you may not have known about. Today we are honoring Mark Nowak and Sarah Ruthenberg. East Middle School student, Mark Nowak passed away during a sporting event. Mark Nowak was just truly an outstanding student. He was the type of student who was loved by everybody in the school. He had friends in all the different social groups. He was a, a, a very bright student, a top honor student. He was a great athlete. Uh, he played catcher on the uh, baseball team. Uh, he was uh, actually injured in a football game and the coach saw that he appeared to have headaches and so they sat him out and the headaches continued so they took him down to Munson Hospital and discovered that there was bleeding in the brain and it, he was not able um, to survive that. And so it was just such a shock to everyone because he was a, a, a leader in about every area of school life. And we held a memorial service for him uh, here in the cafeteria. And it was just packed, absolutely packed. And 
and different student groups performed and, and different people spoke uh, as a memorial to him. The, the students, as part of the memorial process, put up that, um, that memorial plaque to Mark because they, we just, it was part of the process of trying to let go but also trying to remember. In addition to the memorial, there is an award given to student athletes who exemplify Noack's character. Now we remember Sarah Ruthenberg, an 8th grade student who tragically died in school from a heart condition. Sarah was in the um, art class over here in the, the fine arts wing and she walked past here. She got down to the uh, atrium, the opening here in front of the, the media center and collapsed. And um, I was sitting in my office back here and somebody came running up and said that a student collapsed. And, I ran up and Sarah was was on the ground. Um, just if you take a look at this wing, it was the eighth grade wing. I, I think it still is the eighth grade wing. Going on the eighth grade wing because she was an eighth grader, was on the uh, on the floor. And I went up and I I checked her pulse and I couldn't feel a pulse. I checked for breathing and there was no breathing. And, and so I started administering CPR to try to save her. And it, it seemed like it took forever. I think it was only 20 minutes by the time that the EMS r arrived. But it just all that time trying to, to feel the life come back into her, and it, it didn't. When she was, when I first came upon her, you know, she, she grabbed my hand, and I know she was still alive. The, the EMS came, and, and they um, put a defibrillator on her and, and tried to revive her with that. We didn't have a defibrillator before that time. And then they took her out and they continued to administer CPR. Murray explains how the loss of a student affects the entire school. In both cases, it's just a real blow. You know, when you're middle school age, you, you, you think that death doesn't happen to somebody at this age. Uh, death is what happens to old people, and, and and so to suddenly find that one of your fellow classmates has died makes everybody feel a little vulnerable. By remembering those who died, what you're saying is, and those who are living are, are, are very important. And, and so it, it's good to remember those people who um, met death earlier than everyone else because their lives were important, but also what it says to everybody else is, each and every student here is important. We hope you now know more about our school and its history. This is Jake Spann and Jake Simmons reporting for Trojan TV. Well, that's it for this edition of Trojan TV. Tune in again next week for another great episode. Remember, you can watch recent and previous episodes on our Trojan TV YouTube channel. See you next week! Production. <laughs> 28th through the 20th. Why is it going backwards? Hold on. We're interested in trying out. Restart. Well, <laughs> to start preparing for your audition. Eighth graders. Is that bad? You can try it on May 26th. Yeah. May 26th. <laughs> <laughs> Here is called Did You Know? Thank you, you're lucky I didn't laugh. <laughs>